<laughs> now this is the absolute most fun you can have in the summertime. It is crappie fishing off the dock. We're in the shade. You know, it's 110 degrees outside. All we're doing, we're just dropping baby shads down and catching crappie over the top of brush piles. Just kind of give you an idea of where we're fishing right now. We're just on a private dock here on Lake Washita. It's in central Arkansas. There's a lot of docks like this all over the country that you can find that have crappie, bluegill, bass hanging out around them. But since it's private, you always need to make sure that you ask someone for permission. You need to, you know, ask if maybe someone's got a boat here or maybe someone at the marina and just ask them if you can have permission to fish here first. But it, it's, it's a really, oh, I'm hung up. Dang. <laughs> Another great tip is you want to make sure you have lots of jig heads because you're going to break some off here because four pound line, it's about like hair. It's just going to break off. All right, let's go tie another one on. I'll show you exactly what I'm using. <laughs> Guys, the color that we're using today is this color called Bayou Booger by Bobby Garland. It's just a really great pattern for clear water. It looks just like a shad. If we were fishing in dirty water, I'd probably go with something like this Dreamsicle Light, just a brighter pattern. But it's really simple stuff. It's just a, just a baby shad colored up like a shad. And then we're just using a blue little sickle jig head. Pretty simple just because you can match it up to this color, but you just want to match things up. If you're in clear water, you want it to look like a shad. If you're in dirty water, you want it to be bright and stand out. To describe to you how you actually fish in these places like this is you look for the corners, you look for the dusty, dirty places where it doesn't look like there's been anything going on in a long time. That's the best places because there's going to be crappies sitting along the sides of those docks. You also look if there's little ropes or anything like that that might be holding a tree or a brush pile. That's a good indicator of where to drop. One thing you do whenever you're fishing on these docks like this, you drop it down. I like to drop it almost all the way to the bottom to where I just don't see any more slack in my line. And then what I'll do is I'll just slowly, I'll just kind of reel a few times, give me a few reel cranks, and I'll hold it there steady. You got to just keep it completely steady. You got to be cool hand Luke and just hold that thing there. That's when you're going to get your bites when you're holding it completely steady because those crappie are going to come up. They're going to look at it and they're going to make sure that looks just like a minnow. Then they're going to bite it. Crappie like to feed up, so I mean, you might be below them. By reeling it up, you're just gonna get it right above their head eventually, and then they're gonna come bite it. Oh, buddy, what do we have here? Oh, got us a crappie. Awesome, man. <laughs> I can't do anything right today, but we're practicing what we preach there. I dropped that thing down. I saw a little string that was holding the brush pile, dropped it down there all the way to the bottom, and then I just kind of slowly reeled it up, didn't get a bite, slowly reeled it up, and then it, I guess I finally got it above this guy's head, and he bit it. Get in here. Get up here, boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, this is seriously fun. This is something that you can do with your kids, your grandpa, whoever that's, you know, mildly interested in fishing and get them more interested in fishing. So you can come down here, you can be in the shade, and you can catch a bunch of fish. That's awesome.